Welcome to the first edition of the Develop Your Chi cooking show. We all know how important the whole grains are in our diet, so over the next few weeks we're going to be looking at a few simple foods that we can make in our own home using whole meal and whole grains. Today's recipe is going to be for whole meal flatbreads or chapatis or tortilla, uh, depending where in the world you're from. These are our ingredients, it's really simple. Whole meal flour, we've got two and a half cups here. One teaspoon of salt, just going to put that in. And one cup of water. We stir these all together and begin to knead it. We're going to knead for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of kneading, you're going to have a nice smooth ball of dough, which you're going to wrap with cling film and leave to rest for an hour. After the dough's rested for about an hour, um, we're going to unwrap it and we're going to divide it up into pieces ready for rolling. Now I'm going to divide this into about 16 pieces today. Um, obviously that's going to vary depending on exactly how big you want your flatbreads to be. But it doesn't take much dough for each flatbread because you're going to uh, you're going to roll them out really, really thin. When it comes to rolling, you're going to want to use plenty of extra flour to help to stop the dough from sticking. And as you work the dough, you're going to want to keep turning it over, keep reflouring it so it's not going to stick to your rolling pin. And basically, you want to roll this dough out until it's somewhat circular and about as thin as you possibly can, while of course still fitting it in your, inside your frying pan. When it's all rolled out it should have a really thin, sort of stretchy look to it. To cook we're going to use a hot dry pan over medium to low heat. We're just going to throw the dough in there. We don't need to use any butter or oil, anything like that. Um, and it's going to take literally between 30 seconds and a minute for it to cook on each side. And if we've managed to roll the dough out nice and thin, what we'll see happening as it cooks is it'll form just slight little bubbles where the surface of the dough will start to wrinkle a little bit, it's a little hard to see here. But that tells you that it's, it's cooked and it's time to flip it over. So we're just about there now, we'll just give it a couple more seconds. And now I'm, I'm flipping it using just my fingers, but um, you might want to use a spatula. It's reasonably easy to work with though. Flip it over, you know it's done when you can see just a little bit of this light brown on the other side. We're going to leave it again for about another 30 seconds this time and then we're going to take it out of the pan and it's done. And this is what you end up with. A pile of delicious, fresh, wholemeal flatbread. What can you do with the flatbread? Well here are a few suggestions. For a start you can put it with some fresh meat, falafel, tofu, fish, something like that and some salad vegetables and roll it up and make a wrap. You can spread it with tomato paste, some cheese, any other toppings you feel like and make a mini pizza. Or as is traditional, you can serve it alongside a curry or stew.